Hi, welcome to Illinois Association for College Admission Counseling. And we have this wonderful session for you tonight on Find Your Fit. My name is Laura Dougherty. I work at Southwestern University and I'm gonna turn it over. Enjoy. Thank you, thanks Laura. And hey to everybody out there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys. We have a nice little PowerPoint presentation and hopefully that'll help us um, really describe our colleges to you and allow you to take some notes and things too if you want. So our presentation is called Find Your Fit, learn about the similarities and differences between private, public, and community colleges. Um, we know there's a ton of colleges to compare when you're starting your search. And the three of us are just three different examples um, within an hour of each other. We offer different programs, we have different sizes. There's so much um, that are that's similar and different between us. So we thought we would share that with you guys today. So first up, my name is Brittany Weiss. I'm Director of Admissions at Quincy University, which is a small private liberal arts school in Quincy, Illinois. And my name is Cassie Daly, and I'm the Interim Director of Transfer Services for Western Illinois University. Hey, my name is Kristen Ritterbush. I'm the Director of Admissions at John Wood Community College. So first up, we're gonna get to the nitty gritty. Um, I know you guys want to know size, a little bit more about our student life, what we have to offer. So I'll bat lead off at QU, we have about 1,100 students. Um, our average class size is 14, so pretty small. Um, 30 clubs and organizations that we have to offer our students and anyone who wants to um, design their own club really has the freedom to do so at such a small institution. Um, we're D2 within athletics, we have 20 D2 sports. And we have one D1 um, um, athletic event as well, which is our men's volleyball team. So um, we have everything to offer. Lacrosse and bowling are our most recent within the last two years for both men and women. We um, operate under the Franciscan um, uh, ruling, which is basically a subset of Catholicism. Um, we have about 50% Catholics to non-Catholics at Quincy University. And really more than anything I think you feel on our campus is just a call to service. We do require 30 service learning hours for graduation requirement at QU. And our, our hub sort of at QU is our Quest Center. And that offers a 24 seven study space for our students. It's right under the library. It also houses our study abroad opportunities, our career services, computer labs, and again, that service learning um, piece of, of our curriculum. And at Western Illinois University, our undergraduate student size is about 5,900. Um, our average class size is 18. And we have over 250 clubs and organizations at our main campus in Macomb, Illinois for students to be involved with. Um, we have everything from service type organizations to a legitimate Harry Potter club. So there's definitely something for everybody at Western. Um, we are a division one for our athletics. So even if you're maybe not at the D1 play Playing level, uh, then they're really nice to just watch. So the D1 athletic opportunity is for students to come and, and watch our events and be with other students um, when we're not in the um, COVID area. And then we have the M MCC Multicultural Center. So the Multicultural Center is a place for students to experience different cultural opportunities to band together, to provide um, some social opportunities within the center. And then if you are one that likes to stay fit and be active, we do have a large rec center on campus. So you can do everything from a swim laps in the pool to take fitness classes, walk around the track, and be involved in intramural sports, so you can grab a, everybody from the floor in your residence hall and go play basketball or pickleball or badminton. So definitely something for everybody at the rec center. We do have two campus locations with Western. So the main campus is in Macomb, Illinois, and our second campus location is in the Quad Cities. And the Quad Cities is uh, Moline, Illinois. And Moline, Illinois is right along the Mississippi River. So students that live in the Quad City area or if they're really interested in becoming an engineering student, our engineering program is exclusively at our Quad Cities campus. All right, and for John Wood Community College, we have about 1,900 uh, students, average class size 14. 
Uh, we have a ton of student life and activities. I know that's not the first thing that somebody thinks of when they think of community college. Uh, I think that's the thing that sets us apart, especially between community colleges. Um, we have over 135 activities on and off campus, over 20 clubs and organizations. And like Brittany said, being from a smaller school, um, if you have an interest and there's not a club, you can start it. And so that gives um, everybody a chance to kind of find their fit. Um, we do, I didn't list it, but we are also Division II in JCAA on athletics. We have eight sports. Uh, the newest one we just added is eSports. And so that's kind of a um, new, fun, and exciting thing. Uh, and again, another way for, um, for that group of gaming students to, to find their niche on campus. Uh, we have a very diverse group of students. Uh, we have students from nine states and eight countries. Again, not something that you usually think of when you think of community college. Um, and probably the one thing that sets us apart, and we'll talk about a little further, is that we have um, transfer and career paths. So uh, we have a lot of career and technical hands-on training, um, and that's probably one of the biggest differentiators. All right, your new home. So I always say when you go to a school, you have to love the environment of the town as much as you love the environment of the school, because you're gonna be there for the next two, four, however many years. Um, so QU and John Wood, we obviously share our hometown of Quincy. Um, at QU, we have seven on-campus residence halls. We also just last year adopted a new house system. So I know Cassie talked about Harry Potter, love Harry Potter. Um, it's very much like that in that not only is it by dorm, but it's also by, um, by hall or um, by floor. And so essentially even commuters are a part of this and it helps to develop a bigger sense of community um, each individual house, there's seven total. Um, they have their own colors, their own crest, their own motto. Um, they do service hours together. They have competitions through GPA and things like that together as well. So again, really fosters a nice sense of teamwork and community on campus. And at John Wood Community College, like we said, we kind of share the Quincy area. Uh, we are a commuter campus. Um, so a lot of our students do continue to live at home, whether that's in Quincy or in the surrounding areas. Uh, and then we do have some students that choose to get apartments um, or live in houses in the Quincy area. Um, there's a number of apartment complexes that house a, a majority of John Wood students. And we're really blessed with the city of Quincy. It's a population of about 40,000 people. So there's a ton of stuff to do. You can see here 80 restaurants, 20 parks, 10 museums. Um, the biggest benefit for students is there's 125 corporations just in the town of Quincy alone. So when it comes time for an internship or practicum or job shouting opportunity, you really have a great bank of corporations to choose from. Um, and a lot of those people who are heading those companies have um, you know, a sibling or a daughter or whoever um, that has gone to either QU or John Wood. And in addition to all of those opportunities, you have the advantage of a small town. Um, Quincy is really a hub for the uh, rural areas surrounding it. So Quincy only has about 40,000 people, um, but it pulls from a, a much larger population. Um, it's very Midwestern friendly, uh, very arts conscious. Um, it is the biggest city for at least 60 miles. So, um, and the school, I mean, we just built brand new school system, brand new schools um, throughout Quincy. Um, and so it's just a really, really great and very supportive, um, very supportive environment. It really is best of both worlds. You have a ton of stuff to do, but you get that safety and security feel. Mm -hmm. So Western Illinois University, the main campus is located in Macomb, Illinois, as I mentioned earlier. With the campus in itself, um, in Macomb, there is six on-campus residence halls that students can choose to, to live in. Some of our residence halls are exclusively for freshman students and some are exclusively for upperclassmen students coming in. We do have roommate matching. So when you come to Western and if you don't have a roommate, that's fine. We have you do um, what I, bad mom joke coming. Um, we do what we call match.com for roommates. So you can answer some questions about yourself legitimately, like how many times you shower every day, which you know, that's important in a roommate for me. Uh, so that you can take that quiz and then we, we send you your top 10 matches and you can reach out to those top 10 matches, find somebody that has kind of the, the same interests that you have or somebody that you feel like, yeah, we really would kind of mesh well together. If you don't find somebody through the matching system, we will pair you up based on the ones that are kind of most compatible. 
We do offer living learning communities for students that are involved with maybe a particular major. So if you're like a broadcasting journalism major or nursing major, everybody on that floor would also be a nursing major or a broadcasting major, which is really helpful because then you can study together and maybe you're in some of the same classes. And if you're working on a project, then you're all right there on the, on the same floor. We do offer flexible dining plans with what we call Rocky Dollars. And so Rocky is our university mascot, but uh, flexible dining plans include basically you pay for what you eat. So if you go in and you get an apple, you pay for an apple. If you go and get a seven course meal, you pay for that seven course meal. We offer two dining centers, a convenience stores around campus, a coffee shop, and two restaurants within our university union. One of those being Chick-fil-A, the other one being Einstein Bagels right now. We do welcome cars. One of the things that is nice about Western being in Macomb, Illinois, it is a more rural setting. And so there's plenty of parking. So you are welcome to bring your car as a freshman. Students can live on campus, um, or students are required to live on campus for their first two years. But if you're coming over as a transfer student, if you have 60 credit hours or more, then you have the opportunity to live on or off campus. We welcome you to live on campus. It's a great way to meet people. But if you are a transfer student and you have other plans, or maybe you're um, somebody that lives in the Quincy area and you're going to commute back and forth, then that's an option too. For the city of Macomb, the population is a little over 20,000. Um, so when they're talking earlier about Quincy being the largest community in an out within an hour, that is exactly right. And Macomb is just about an hour from from Quincy. There's uh, 40, over 40 restaurants in the city of Macomb, over 25 shopping and um, specialty retail stores. So even though the population's a little bit smaller, all your creature comforts are there. You've got Walmart, you've got Walgreens, you've got a large grocery store, gas station, so everything that you need. And then if you are one that likes to be outdoors, there's lakes and outdoor recreation opportunities, not only around campus, but um, on campus. We have one of the largest rural transit systems in the Midwest. So if you don't have a car or don't want to bother to bring a car, you can still get around the town of Macomb and the Western Illinois University community uh, by riding the Go West bus system. We have Amtrak service to Chicago and Quincy that runs through. With the Amtrak service, you can grab a ticket and go up to Chicago for the weekend and, and come back. Even if you're not a Chicago native, you just want to take a trip up there. I have students that ride up Amtrak and, and back regularly. Uh, some of the advantages of being in the Macomb and some of the surrounding smaller communities around Macomb is it has a historic downtown area, a farmer's market, and definitely plays off that Midwest charm. And then there's just such a supportive in supportive community in and around the university community. So those smaller towns that surround Macomb, they are definitely supporters of the university. Great. The foundation, so our curriculum, what does that look like? Um, at QU, I already noted we're a liberal arts institution. We offer 40 plus majors and we'll talk in later slides about some of the most popular at each one of our schools. Um, at QU, we have a brand promise called Success by Design. So we know that when you come into school, you have a certain set of goals. And that might not even be just um, about your career path. It might be that by the end of my four years, I want to start a club, or I want to make sure that I make the cheerleading squad, or whatever it may be. And so when you come in, we want to find out what your passion is and help you get there. Um, that is done through a couple different ways. First, our Bonaventure program. Uh, that's basically our gen ed courses. Those are the same for every major, no matter what you would go into. And that really allows you time, especially in the beginning of your career um, or your, your college experience, to really get your feet wet and try out different majors, prereqs um, in different programs and see what fits and what doesn't. And you're not far down a track and uh, can't change your mind and turn back around. We have personalized academic advising. So if you come in and say, I wanna be a business major, um, your primary academic advisor will be a professor in the School of Business. So they get to know you on a very personal level. They know what your career goal is when you're done with school. Um, they can help you find internship opportunities, practicums, job shadowing opportunities. And of course, at the very end, can write you that letter of recommendation that's personal to you um, and really shoot you down a pipeline because they have networked with so many people in their field and it's great to have them uh, support you. We just now, uh, this year is the first year we're gonna be offering J term or January term. So our students in the month of January can take a three credit hour course
course for free, not part of tuition. Um, and by the end of their four years, we'll then have taken essentially um, a full-time semester of free courses. Um, our business fundamental certificate, we will be offering free business courses in the summertime all online. And so students who are maybe not part of the business program can still graduate with a certificate noting how marketable they are um, by their business skills. So for instance, if you're gonna graduate with graphic design as your major, and you are possibly wanting to um, open your own studio or work for yourself, having that business fundamental certificate really makes you marketable and um, um, you know, those, those people that are gonna utilize you in the future will really, really like to see that. And at Western Illinois University, we are a regional public institution. So we are discipline specific, but we have a very strong liberal arts core to the first two years. And that's why transferring to Western Illinois is, um, is an easy process if you decide to go that route, because the first two years is those core classes of general education. We offer over 60 majors at our main campus in Macomb. Our Quad Cities campus offers about 19 majors. So kind of depending on where you're at as your major choices will change. We offer integrated degree programs. And so what this means is that if you are wanting to go into a program and know that you wanna go on into a master's degree, so you wanna get your bachelor's, you know you wanna go on for your master's, we have several integrated degree programs where you just spend one bonus year and you can get that master's before you're done with us at Western. So it saves you an entire year on tuition at the, at the graduate level and an entire year on time. So a lot of our students really like that option because they can just flow very, very nicely into that, into that integration. We do also offer individualized advising. A good percentage, I would say about 97% of our advisors are full-time academic advisors. That's all they do. That is their job. Uh, they sit down with students each semester, help plan out their degree plan, what they need to take. So you're not in this process alone. And I think that that can really be something that's very like anxiety ridden when you come in as a college student. But um, it's really nice to know that nope, you have somebody there to help you plan that path. We also offer a Student Success and Development Center. So that's a lot of words, but what that means basically is that we're gonna help you be successful at Western. And so that may mean that if you have some accommodations that you've been receiving at your previous institution, things like note takers or extended time during tests, then we have those services available. Uh, we also have a writing center. So if um, you are like a lot of students that um, don't necessarily like to proofread and maybe not the, the strongest on the grammar, uh, then there's a place to go that you can have someone help you with writing those papers. Or if you need a little bit of help on math, we have a math tutoring center. We also have um, internship and field work experiences for many of our, of our majors. A lot of our majors will require an internship at some point, and a lot of the other ones that don't require an internship actually have room built in the curriculum if you'd like to take that opportunity. Excellent. And at John Wood Community College, um, again, we are a community college. Um, we have about 50 plus majors um, and our core um, message, our tagline is finding your path. And so that's what we help students do. There's so many students that are unsure and they just don't know what direction they wanna go. Um, that's somewhere where we're really able to help them. Um, we can help students that know exactly where they wanna go as well. Um, being a community college, our, our core is to be accessible. And that means costs, location, programs, courses, options. Our goal is to make education accessible for as many as many students in our area as possible. Um, and I mentioned earlier, probably one of the bigger differentiators is offering the career and technical programs, some of the hands-on degree uh, degrees and certificates. So um, a student can come to John Wood if you want to start a bachelor's degree, like Brittany and Cassie have talked about at QU and Western. So you could do those first two years at John Wood and then complete with them. Q and Western are two of our biggest transfer schools. Uh, we send students to them all the time. Um, but then some people um, maybe just want to do something on a sh shorter term. They wanna go right into the workforce. Uh, maybe being in the classroom is not where they see themselves and that's okay. Um, but we encourage people, especially students in high school to do something after high school. You need some training um, other than that high school diploma. And so we're able to offer that in our career and technical uh, programs. 
and um, students in a very short period of time, anywhere from a semester up to two years, can get the training that they need to go right onto the workforce and make some really good head of, house, head of household incomes. But we'll get into specific majors a little later. Oh, right now. <laughs> um, what should I study? The most popular majors at all of our schools. So we just picked a handful for you. Um, at QU business is, is huge. We have every facet within business. So marketing management, accounting, finance. We have an entrepreneurship minor. Um, I listed business analytics. That is our newest major within the School of Business. Um, and so very data driven, make a lot of money when you graduate with that degree. Um, biological sciences, if you're going into pre-med, we have a cadaver lab on our campus, which is very unheard of for a small school like Quincy. We offer aviation, one of three four-year institutions in Illinois who does. Um, communication, we have a high def studio. Uh, we got about a $300,000 grant from WGEM and the Oakley Foundation to, uh, to create that for our students. So they do get a lot of hands-on work before even going into their internship. With pre-law, we do have a 3-3 program with SLU, St. Louis University. We also have a mock trial courtroom on our campus. Computer science, we just established our cybersecurity lab last year. So uh, another major that you make a ton of money. Um, and then nursing, we work with Blessing Riemann um, College of, of Health Sciences, um, and they do have a radiology and a respiratory care four-year program that they just started this year. Um, so we have a great partnership with them. And at Western Illinois University, um, our top major is Law Enforcement and Justice Administration. And we are the largest in the state and the second largest in the country. So for the Law Enforcement and Justice Administration, it's not just about going on to go in to become a police officer. Although if that's the path you want to go, that's the path that it can take you down. But there are students that join that major for a variety of different reasons. We have just um, opened a brand new crime lab. So it's a hands-on crime lab where students are doing fingerprinting and looking at things um, under a microscope and they're running some additional tests on, on evidence. So they're definitely getting a lot of that hands-on experience before they go out into the workforce. Management and marketing is our, our second largest area. So students that wanna go into anything from retail management to supply chain management, which is a fancy name for a logistics program. Then there's a lot of opportunities within the management and marketing area. We offer a global studies program um, within the management and marketing area or the, our business programs where students can go and do um, three years overseas and come back and a lot of our, a lot of those students um, then finish out at Western and either get a a graduate degree, they end up with a dual degree. So they'll have a degree from, and actually Sweden, and, uh, and a degree from, from Western Illinois University. So we also offer a biology program. Um, biology kind of encompasses a lot of the students are going into pre-med or pre-physical therapy or pharmacy. So a lot of um, areas that fall under that category. Accounting and finance, um, we have a lot of students that want to go on to become a CPA. We've just actually added a new um, actuarial science program at Western. And then nursing is also very popular. So our nursing program is a BSN, so it is a bachelor's degree structure, but we also offer an RN to BSN. So if you would go through a community college and get your RN, then there's opportunities to finish out the BSN, their bachelor's degree, and do that online with us through, through Western. Agriculture, being in that rural community, uh, we offer a, a university farm, so students will get hands-on experience with uh, working in a greenhouse, working with our cattle operation, or even uh, a lot of our soil sciences um, in the farmland that we own um, in and around the university. Education. So education kind of encompasses everything from elementary, early childhood education, all the way up to if you want to teach in a certain a discipline in high school. And that's definitely hands-on experience towards the end. You're in the classroom in education pretty much from the very beginning all the way up through, through the end. So you're getting those field experiences right away. Our psychology program. It's great for students. We also actually have a forensic psychology and forensic psychology has been very, very popular for us lately. And then our kinesiology. Uh, kinesiology is exercise science. It also encompasses our physical education. So students that want to go on to become PE teachers fall into that category as well. 
All right. Um, on the John Wood side of things, uh, again, I've broken it up into those transfer programs where you're starting a bachelor's and then the career tech. So on the transfer side, um, and we feed a lot of the students into WIU and QU, so a lot of these are going to align. Um, agriculture um, is a very popular program at John Wood. We have a uh, specialized ag center in Perry, Illinois. Um, it is uh, right next to the U of I Research Center. So they have our campus, but then also some uh, more in-depth uh, accessibility uh, to the, the animals uh, there. We send a lot of our ag students, a majority of our ag students, I would say, yeah, to go to Western um, to complete their degrees. Uh, business, another popular one, again, on the, on the anywhere from business management, um, psychology, education, um, a lot of students start at John Wood with biology majors that are going to go into some type of medical field. Um, and it's really kind of hard to pinpoint because you can literally start any bachelor's degree at John Wood. It's the first two years um, and then you can transfer to whatever school, um, specifically QU or WIU. On the career tech side of things, nursing is a very popular one, really anything in healthcare right now. Uh, we also partner with Blessing Riemann. At John Wood, you're going to get an, an associate degree in nursing, and you'll get your um, be able to sit for your RN after about three years, uh, and then you can continue on that next year to get your BSN um, after you're already working if you choose to do so. Uh, welding is a very, very popular one. Um, we can't supply enough welders uh, into our area. Uh, the electrical program, another great trades program. Um, HVAC is a newer program. This is the second year we've had it. It's been full every, um, every semester. Uh, so that's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. That's a one-year program. So in one year, um, you can go out and um, really have a really great career with that. CAD, uh, industrial maintenance, um, and truck driver training. And we have many more, but that's just kind of the, the most popular ones that, that we see. Application process. Um, at QU, we have our own homegrown application on our website, cc.edu. We're also a part of the Common App. Um, so if you're just starting the Common or, or the application process, that's a great opportunity because you can fill out one application and send to multiple schools that are a part of the Common App family. Um, we request a transcript from your school. Um, we would like to see a test score if you have one, but we are test optional. Uh, we would require a writing sample or um, essentially a graded paper that you would have. And we have two different scholarship matrices that we would use to see what you would qualify for. At Western Illinois University, um, we have our own WIU application that is on our website, um, our homepage. It's, there's a yellow button on the upper right-hand corner. You click that to apply. Right now, the entire month of October, we are waiving the application fee. So if you're even thinking about Western at all, now is the time to fill out the application because it will save you $30. We do require a transcript to be sent to us. If you're coming in as an incoming freshman, it's your high school transcript. If you're a transfer student, it'd be your transcripts from possibly high school, but then also the community college. Um, if you've take, taken any dual credit, we wanna see that too. We're not gonna use it in the admissions decision, but we want to be able to transfer that credit over for you. If you have a 2.75 on a 4.0 scale coming in as a first time incoming freshman, we, that is an automatic accept. So if you have that uh, GPA, then we're automatically going to accept you to WIU. We are test optional currently. If you fall below that 2.75, though, we may require some supporting in, in information. And if you've taken the ACT or the SAT, we encourage you to submit those scores, but we are, again, test optional. We also offer a TAG program, which stands for Transfer Admissions Guarantee. So if you're gonna start at a two-year institution, a community college, and you know that you wanna to transfer to Western, then you can apply for the Transfer Admission Guarantee Program. And basically we watch you as you go through that two-year program and we give you updated degree plans. So what you should take at that community college based on the major that you wanna go into. And it's just a nice support and flow as you come into Western. And then for transfer admissions, as I mentioned earlier, it's actually a 2.0 uh, transfer GPA as long as you have 24 credit hours or more. All right, at John Wood Community College, uh, we are open enrollment. Um, so that means we have terms, but you can really apply at any time. We have start dates um, 
Well, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but we have flexible start dates. There's a session that starts almost every eight weeks um, that we can get a student into. So a lot of flexibility that goes back to that accessibility um, from the community college. Uh, our application is free online. It's at jwcc.edu slash apply. Um, it's very simple, take you 10 minutes or less. Um, just like everybody else, we are gonna look for those transcripts. Um, if you're a high school student, you can send whatever transcript you have right now. We can use that for admission. Um, if you've taken dual credit or any college uh, classes, we wanna see those transcripts as well. Um, so pretty easy process. Um, and like Cassie said, um, a lot of students get a little nervous about applying to institutions. If you're considering different institutions, just go ahead and apply. That gets the process started instead of waiting until you've made your final decision and then trying to get all of this done. So I think they're nodding in agreement, but go ahead and apply. Um, if, if, if we're on your list, go ahead and apply and you, at least you're getting that process started and not waiting till the last minute. We know, um, all of us in the field, that affordability is a really big factor in making that final decision. So we'd love to give you some more information about our scholarships and um, our financial aid process. At QU, we, for freshman students, we have an academic scholarship um, matrix that ranges from $10,000 to $25,000 a year. And that is based off of your transcripts, um, your test score, if you do choose to send those in. They're renewable for all four years. You just have to maintain a 2.0 GPA in school. And I always joke, if you're not keeping that, mom's pulling you out by your hair anyway. Um, presidential scholarship, we give five full tuition scholarships away a year to our freshman students. Um, students have to have a 3.5 GPA and a 26 ACT or 1230 SAT um, in order to sit for that. It's the first weekend in February. We offer a discovery scholarship, which is $500. It's renewable for um, all four years. And that is just you coming to visit us at Quincy University. It can be on campus. It can be a virtual visit. It can even be one of our discovery days or our open houses. Our legacy scholarship is $1,000, also renewable. And that is if you have a parent, grandparent. I've seen great grandparents um, that have graduated from Quincy University. If we can note that they have a graduation date, um, that scholarship is up for grabs. We offer athletic scholarships from $500 all the way to full tuition. Um, because we're a D2 school. We have music scholarships, art scholarships. The diocesan scholarship is for, it's $500 a year, and it is for students who are um, Catholic in the Diocese of Springfield. So if you could send us a letter from your parish, you would be eligible for that scholarship. And then the Bishop scholarship is almost $10,000, again, renewable. Um, students will send in an essay, um, again, have to be Catholic, You'll send in a letter of recommendation or again, a note from your parish and we will submit these to the bishop, Bishop Pabraki in Springfield, and he will choose one student to receive that scholarship. And I'm speaking for everyone here when I say file your FAFSA, um, mm -hmm. that just opened on October 1st. Uh, so we encourage you to fill that out and send to all the schools that you're looking at. Um, for us at least, and, and I'm assuming the others, you have to be an accepted student in order to receive an acceptance, or um, I'm sorry, a financial aid award letter. Um, but it'll note your scholarship, it'll note any grants, um, any loan opportunities that are out there for you, and then of course bottom line cost. Um, and that'll really help you in the pro-con list as to um, what's going to be a feasible option for you. And at WIU, our average financial aid package, which is kind of a nice segue in when you get that financial aid award letter after you've been accepted and your FAFSA is on file, our average aid package for students is a little over $17,000. And now that's going to include scholarship aid, grant aid, and student loan aid. Um, we have a Western Commitment Scholarship available for first-time incoming freshmen, and the range on that is anywhere from $3,000 to, six, to actually $6,000, and then there's actually an $8,000 award. So basically, the Western Commitment is dependent on your GPA and some other factors. So it's an automatic scholarship. So when you apply to Western and you send us your transcripts, then we are going to make the decision on what you qualify for based on that information that we already have. So there's no additional application is where I'm going with that. We also offer a presidential scholarship that can pick up the cost of room and board for incoming first-time freshmen. Like Quincy University, we also offer a visitor scholarship, and for the Leatherneck Visitor Scholarship, it is a $1,000 one-time award, so it's only good for your first year after you make the visit, and, and as long as Western's the first place that you attend after that. 
then we will offer that to you. We do have an alumni legacy scholarship for students coming in. And with the alumni legacy scholarship, the award amount is $1,500. And if that is for if you are a child or the grandchild of a WIU alum, and it is a renewable award. For, um, we also offer a local Leatherneck scholarship. And so if you are um, local to the surrounding area of Buckholm, then you can qualify for the, the local Leatherneck scholarship, which is a housing scholarship. And then the, if you're in the, from the Chicago or St. Louis area, we also have scholarships for students coming from those demographic places too. And then some additional book awards um, for to help with supplies and textbooks for students that are Pell eligible. And then we also have some transfer scholarships um, for students that come in as a transfer student. All right, at, at John Wood Community College, um, our tuition starts out a little lower. So our tuition amount or our scholarship amounts might be a little lower. Um, our average tuition is about $5,200 a year. Um, we do have a presidential scholarship that does offer full tuition. We give out three of those, similar to what Brittany talked about. It's a competitive scholarship. Um, it is an event that is in February. Um, we have a trailblazer scholarship that is for half tuition. We give out 25 of those a year. And with that, we're really looking for good academic students, but students that are very involved and have proven to be leaders and are going to come into campus and really uh, encompass that student leadership on campus. Um, we have foundation scholarships, uh, major specific scholarships. Um, those range in the three to 500 range, but there are a ton of them and you can just apply for all of them with one application. So that's really nice. Um, we do also have, um, and I'm copying off of Brittany, we do also have athletic scholarships, um, art and music scholarships. And um, with that new esports program, there are scholarships tied to that as well. Uh, and we do have a promotion going right now um, for students that apply from October through Thanksgiving. Um, you can be entered to win a $500 scholarship and we're drawing one of those every week. So there's some little added benefit to uh, go ahead and apply, apply early this fall. Awesome. I know that we're also hopefully having some transfer students listening in today. Um, and I'm sure you're wondering what your options are. We've been focusing um, on freshmen this last slide. So at QU, we do have academic scholarships for transfer students. They range from eight to $17,000 a year. It's based on your GPA, as well as the number of transferable credits that are coming into Quincy University. Um, we work very closely with John Wood. I know, as Kristen has said, um, about 40% of our transfer class is normally coming directly from John Wood Community College. So uh, we have a scholarship for those students. Again, if you are applying directly from, there can't be like a semester off or anything, but you would get a thousand dollars a year and that is renewable. Um, our Phi Theta Kappa scholarship is two thousand dollars a year and again we would just look for official transcripts from all schools that you may have attended to make that uh, acceptance decision for you. And with transfer students um, at Western Illinois University, our new incoming class of transfer or of enrollees for fall of 2020, about 40 two percent of those were trans incoming transfer students so um, western is a, a good a good spot for that for students that are thinking about that that pathway um, i already mentioned the average financial aid package we also we offer an automatic transfer commitment scholarship so on the freshman we call it western commitment on the transfer side we call it transfer commitment this scholarship is for students that have a 2.5 gpa they have to enroll at western either full-time or part-time and this is renewable up to four years so it's not just a one and done. We are going to roll that over. We also offer a Phi Theta Kappa scholarship, um, which is very common. And for students that you can really, it's a small investment. It's a nice return on investment. It's about $60, I think, to join Phi Theta Kappa. But a lot of places have large Phi Theta Kappa scholarships. So if you can spend 60 bucks and you get a $1,000 scholarship out of it, I think that's a, that's a pretty good deal. Um, we offer our, the campus and visitor virtual scholarship just like on the freshman side. Um, so that is whether you come and do a walking tour, face-to-face um, -face campus visit, 
or you do one of our virtual options. Alumni Legacy applies here for transfer students as well. And then there may be some additional options to apply through the foundation and um, different departments. And very similar to John Wood, it is one application to fill out and they just dump you in the different buckets that you qualify for. And then we do offer athletic and music scholarships as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, so um, we've talked about um, students from John Wood transferring. We have students that start their, their bachelor's degree and then transfer. A ton of them go to Western, a ton of them go to QU. Um, and this process can be very easy, um, just like Cassie was talking about, you know, making sure that you're talking to the institution where you're going to and mapping what classes you take at John Wood and making sure that they're exactly the classes that those schools want for that particular program. Um, so it can be done, it can be very seamless, but it does take some coordination. Um, if we flip these arrows around, we also get students that transfer into John Wood. Um, you know, maybe right out of high school, you went somewhere far away, and especially right now, things are just kind of weird. Maybe you got there and all your classes are online and you can't go anywhere or do anything. Um, we, we do have a number of students that transfer into John Wood to finish their bachelor or finish their associates, and then they're able to transfer out to um, one of these schools to finish their bachelors. Um, so those students, we have um, a lot of that happens in the springtime, it seems like. So we do have some spring start scholarships specifically for either midterm grads that are going to be starting in January or transfer in students. So uh, those are available on our website. So we, we take students in from transfer and then we transfer them out as well. All right, check us out. Um, you know, at QU, we offer on-campus visits right now, Monday through Friday, and those are at 10 o'clock, noon, and 2 p.m. Um, we have virtual visits Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 on the hour. We're doing Saturday virtual visits from 9 a.m. to noon. Um, we have Discovery Days, which are essentially our open houses. Um, November 14th, which is a Saturday, that's going to be our first virtual. So um, please hang out with us that day. We've put a lot of planning into this, but um, we are going to have parent and student panels, Q&A with the experts. Um, we'll, of course, send you our virtual tour. And then the coolest part is we have a raffle at the very end. And our biggest prize is um, the Apple Watch Series 6. So definitely hang out with us and um, get in the running for that. Uh, the other one is March 20th. We're hoping that can be on campus. Um, Hawk's Eye View is something we're starting next week. And it is essentially a Q&A session for just an hour with different um, academic departments. We're starting out on the 22nd of October from 6 to 7 p.m. with nursing. Um, we're doing it about every two weeks or so. Um, we're also going to do science and technology, music, and communication for this semester. And we have a bunch in the works for next semester as well. Um, we're also doing two different student Q&A sessions called Q, U, and U. Those are just going to be an hour as well, and it's really just an open forum with our current students. So pick their brain. Why did they choose Quincy University? What is their major? How did they choose that? Um, and lastly, just check out our visit page at quincy.edu slash visit. Our virtual tour is listed as well as a nice um, video library that we've collected. And at Western, uh, best place to go to see what our visit options are, wiu.edu slash visit. Right now, most of our larger visit programs are going to be virtual. So we offer virtual visit opportunities Monday through Saturday. And then we have several Discover Western open houses that are by academic colleges. We have one coming up this Saturday and then another one on the 24th of October. If you want to do an on-campus tour, then we are limiting it to one family per tour, but you can set that up at the visit website. All right, and at John Wood, um, uh, similar to what Brittany and Cassie have said, we've all had to get really creative, um, and so we know this is difficult for you guys too, but um, we are doing on-campus visits. We think it's really important to physically come to campus, and so we've, we're just doing it in a very safe way. Uh, similar to what they're doing, it's just individual visits or very, very small group. Um, masks are required, socially distanced, um, distancing is observed. Um, so those are daily at 1030 and 2. Um, we also have Trailblazer visit days that are on Fridays, about every other Friday. Um, it's similar to the visit, just the one-on-one, -on -one, but it has a little bit more um, in-depth and we have some student panels and things like that. So you get a little bit more out of those. Um, and the dates are listed there for this fall. Uh, we do have an open house October 29th. So again, another great time to come to campus. 
Um, this is great timing for those that are maybe looking to start in January because registration is open. Um, you can um, come and take care of all of that. It's from two to seven, so it's a really wide span of time. And again, all of these options are available on jmbcc.edu slash visit. We timed that perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are out of time. Good. Right um, so this is our contact information. Please take it down and let us know if you have additional questions. I know we're right at the, the time right now. Um, and if you had any, Laura, that you want to send on to us, we'd be happy to just individually answer as well. But um, thank you for letting us uh, talk with you guys about our schools, and we hope to see you either on campus or virtually for a visit. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So thank you so much. And um, sorry, I'm trying to share my screen here. And um, we're just really excited that all of you were able to be with us. Uh, there's going to be a quick survey at the end. So please take that survey. I want to thank IACAC. I want to thank StriveScan. Most of all, I want to thank all three of our presenters. They did a phenomenal job. And um, good luck with everything. Do your research, uh, follow all the directions they gave you, and also try and have fun with this. Uh, looking for colleges should be fun and uh, believe in that gut instinct. So, all right, have a good evening, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye.